Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today we're going to be checking out what Budweiser can do when they add flannel to their seltzer. So today we're going to be checking out Budweiser's Fall Flannel Limited Edition Variety Hard Seltzer Pack. <laughs> I swear I saw a picture of this and I thought someone photoshopped it. I was like, this can't be real. But it is, and we're going to check it out. And they got their Apple Crisp, their Maple Pear, Pumpkin spice, oh, it's for the fall, baby, and toasted marshmallow. Let's see what this is gonna taste like. <laughs> All right, so let's just go down the line and see what they taste like. Uh, apple crisp. Honestly, that actually sounds pretty good. Let's check it out. Bud Light Seltzer Apple Crisp comes in at a 5% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.28. Get all the flavor of apple pie with all the refreshment of a seltzer. Just like grandma used to make, except a lot more drinkable. All right, so right away it uh, looks nice. It's clear actually, I, I was almost kind of expecting it Kind of almost a color. It, I was kind of expecting like an apple juice aroma. It doesn't have that actually. It has pie crust almost, like a cinnamon sugar stale pie crust and apple filling. Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, wow. That's, um, it's not like apple juice. No, that's like cinnamon and apple pie filling. Wow, that's, it's just different. It, it, it is fall-esque. It tastes like a fall flavor. Wow, that lingers like brown sugar, vanilla. It just, it really does make me think of like a McDonald's apple pie. And it's not sweet either. It's just these lingering flavors. Like when you first taste it, it's just like, okay, there's nothing here. And you swallow it and you're like, whoa, all of these oils or, or aromas and flavors are just hitting my mouth. It's interesting. I don't know if I would want to keep drinking this all the time, but it has like a, I don't know, a fall themed beverage. But yeah, okay. The aroma, like when you're going in right away, it's kind of off-putting. You have to sit there and kind of think about it. Like, what is that? Uh, is this almost buttery? But apple pie is a great description. They nailed that flavor on the head. With it being a seltzer too. That's really odd. All right. Let's move on to the next one, Maple Pear. Bud Light Seltzer Maple Pear comes in at a 5% ABV, A0 IBUs, and gets an average rating on untapped of 2.50. Get your fall flannel ready because the refreshingly tasty pear of maple syrup and pear flavors creates a seltzer as cozy as it's bubbling. Okay, maple pear. Um, it looks like the other one. Uh, maybe a little bit different tint, uh, ever so slightly, but still clear. Eh, kind of a green little tint, where the other one was a bit more crystal clear, but still, looks like a seltzer. Whoa, big maple aroma on that. Like some of those big maple breakfast stouts you always have. It smells like that. 
smells sweet. I'm betting it's not though. Mmm. I don't know if those flavors go together. A lot of maple. Sweeter. At least you want to think it's sweeter, but it says there's the exact same amount of sugar in it, which is less than one gram. See, this says zero grams of sugar. But wow, that maple flavor comes in in the aroma right away. But then that pear, I don't know if that really works. And I think they were trying to go for more like a roasted pear. And then this just tons of maple kicks in and the aroma just sticks around and, and is a bit much, a bit much. Like I'm, I'm still tasting it. It tastes sweet and it's making me think that there's some kind of artificial sweetener in it. And I might be throwing it off because of that. Oof, it's just, it's different. It is different. If you love the flavor of maple, I don't know if I like this one. Similar to the apple that it's hitting all the flavors, but I don't know if I equate maple pear to fall. Now let's go ahead and move on to the most quintessential fall flavor. Bud Light and pumpkin spice, hard seltzer. I don't think I've ever thought those words would be spoken next to each other. Let's find out if they did, well, any of it right. Bud Light Seltzer Pumpkin Spice comes in at a 5% ABV, a zero IBUs. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 3.05. It can't be sweater season without a little pumpkin spice. This seltzer's pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla flavors are literally the taste of fall. Okay, just like the other ones, it well, looks like a seltzer. Nothing fancy, right? Okay. Hopefully it's, it smells good. Ooh. You know those candles you get at Bed Bath & Beyond that say pumpkin spice? They make your whole house smell like pumpkin pie. That's what this smells like. Mmm. Kind of disappointing right there. I mean, like, I'm sure if this was like a bathroom spray or something, yeah, sure, it'd smell great, but not for a seltzer. Like, I've had some good pumpkin beers that at least smell the good. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, first initial taste is actually pretty darn good, actually. I think it's the first one that hits you with the actual flavor of the seltzer right away, where the other two kind of built different layers of flavor. This is pretty consistent all the way through. Pumpkin spice though, mm, not so much. Tastes very bakery donut-y. Like that's kind of the aroma too, I get. Yeah, I don't really get pumpkin spice. I get something very similar to like the apple crisp, but with no apple. The pie aspect, the cinnamon, the vanilla, some butteriness, but I'm not getting any pumpkin spice. And this is the one I was kind of really looking forward to and I'm a little bit disappointed in. It's Bud Light. Come on guys, you have a brewery that makes really great pumpkin beers. Deal what they do and put it into this seltzer. Have them make this seltzer. I don't care. Call it the Night Owl Seltzer. Call it the Great Pumpkin Seltzer. I don't care. Um, but this is not pumpkin spice. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's more like pumpkin pie with apple crisp crumble flavoring. I get like cinnamon, vanilla, and, and butter. I don't get all spice. I don't get you know, all the other flavors that they talked about. This, I am I am disappointed in this one. Ugh. I would take it over the maple pear though. So, let's see how well toasted marshmallow does. 
Bud Light Seltzer Toasted Marshmallow comes in at a 5% ABV, A0 IBUs, and gets an average rating on Untapped of 2.74. Y'all want s'mores of this sweet marshmallow with a hint of chocolate flavor when it's paired with the refreshment of a seltzer? No fire necessary. So just like all the other ones, crystal clear. I think actually Pear was the only one that kind of looked like it might have had a hint to it. This one, eh, looks nice. Oh, that smells like cereal. Kind of like uh, if Cocoa Puffs and Lucky Charms, or the marshmallows of Lucky Charms, were in a cereal together. Well, so far, Aroma, Right on point. Give it a try. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That literally tastes exactly how I described it. Uh, Cocoa Puffs and cereal marshmallow, like Lucky Charms marshmallow. Um, and it's chocolate, yeah. It, it just reminded me as I was drinking it, like this is what having the milk out of a bowl of cereal after eating Cocoa Puffs, you know, that chocolate milk, uh, that hint of chocolate it gives you with the milk, that's what this tastes like. It's a hint of chocolate with seltzer and some leftover marshmallow. Again, if you've ever had Lucky Charms and your marshmallow kind of melted away in the milk and you drink the milk, there's this marshmallowiness to it and even the aroma. This has got to be the most accurate one out of all of them in the pack that has the description to flavor tasting ratio. It's spot on. I, I couldn't ask for anything better than this in a seltzer. I get every flavor and the roller coaster that it brings me on is an even roller coaster. The flavors inside are balanced. Each one of these had off-putting flavors. That's um that is toasted marshmallow. I'm thinking cereal. I'm thinking pop tarts. That's on point. I don't think it tastes like fall. I guess some people may equate camping to fall. I don't know. But Heck, that's a flavor. If they want to start coming out with a lighter dessert flavored seltzers, this could be one of them. The apple crisp actually isn't too bad either. The aroma on that one actually started to get better. And the maple pear. Oh, nope. Not even going to go back to that one. Okay, now I've. Uh, no. That one even kind of has a uh, slight sourness to it. But wow, this toasted marshmallow might just be the best one in there. But I don't see myself drinking a whole lot of it. <laughs> or any of these. But I have a 12 pack of it. What am I gonna do with the other <laughs> eight? Damn. Well. I guess we'll just have to drink them. They're still 5%. 100 calories. Yeah, that's awesome. So, if you or you know someone who are into the fall style pumpkin spiced, Marzen's Oktoberfest, or even the big pastry style's big bold flavor beers, but maybe they're looking for something a little bit lighter, or maybe their significant other is looking for something a little bit lighter in those flavors too. Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel Limited Edition Pack might be something to pick up. I don't know. I, I find that the flavors are unique enough and they balanced it well enough that I wouldn't mind seeing this pack again next year, but maybe just keep two of them and then rotate two new flavors in and every year 
maybe rotate different flavors into it. You know, maybe do a five pack with a, a new flavor um, or something along that line and adjust these. So, especially the pumpkin spice. If you're gonna do fall and pumpkin spice, this needs to taste like a pumpkin pie. This doesn't. This does taste like toasted marshmallow. This does taste like apple pie. This just tastes like a donut and pear. Blech. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. While you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment or two because I know you love doing that type of stuff. The Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel Limited Edition Seltzers. Have you gotten to try them yet? What do you think? What was your favorite? My gosh, what do you think of these flavors as a seltzer? Let me know. See you guys.